Hey YouTube, it's DD Man 10 here, and today I'm talking about the new iPhone 4G that was released today, 6, 7, 10. Um, I have the website Apple open right now. This is legit. This is uh, just like the one that uh, Gizmodo supposedly found. Um, I don't know, it looks pretty cool to me. I mean, I don't know if I like the square thing, but the features look sick, like the volume rocker. And, um, I don't know, it's just all squared off. It looks pretty nice, though. Um, see, I will go to just homepage. And there it is. So there's a front camera that is confirmed now, um, which will be for video chatting. So you can actually get to see your face and what you're pointing at while you're video chatting instead of, you know, video chatting blind. Um... The quality looks actually a lot better because the 3GS is laggy, but it has good quality. But I think they upped the three. Uh, wow, well, they upped um. What am I trying to say? Megapixels and the frames per second on this new iPhone. Um, just go to iPhone and um, let's see 960 by 640 display. That's crazy. HD video, just like the 3GS, multitasking, that's a big feature. I'm going to click that. So everyone's excited about that. I, I sure I am. Let's see. The apps look a lot nicer on here. Got mail. All this good stuff. I'm actually really excited. Like, I'm, I probably won't get this phone, but, I mean, for probably one of my friends that would get it, I, I want to play with the, around with this. this. Looks pretty cool, actually. HD video recall. Yeah, this looks nice. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know what you guys just comment on uh, the video and see what you guys think about it. I mean, it's only pictures now, but the 4.0 firmware will be released, and uh, once I have a jailbreak for that, uh, you guys will get it right away. I promise. Um. Yeah, this, oh wow, this looks nice. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over it. Um, I've probably never been this excited about an iPhone before. Because the, the 3GS was a nice phone, but I, I don't know, I don't like it on AT&T, honestly. Uh, the, the coverage sucks because AT&T is a worldwide coverage, so they have to spread out their service all over the world. I don't know. Uh, it's a Europe based company, so I don't know if uh, the service will be better now. Now that uh, Sprint just came out with 4G, um, I don't I don't know if this is going to be as good, but it, I mean, it looks amazing to me right now. I guess because it's new and all the hype that came out and everything. But um, yeah, so Apple's putting out a lot of stuff right now. They're still, I know they were still working on the iTouch 4G. Um, I don't know. This looks crazy. But, uh, also, I hope this phone comes out for Verizon because I actually might consider getting it when I'm older. Because, uh, it'd just be a nice, I think it's, I think it's way better than a Blackberry in my, in my, like, per, like, personal opinion. But, wow. This looks nice. Um,. Yeah, I don't think they released anything about the iPods. It's all about the iPhone right now. Um, if you guys want to check out any of this news, real news, not hype, go to Apple.com. I'm on my Mac right now, so it's my home page. But, yeah, this definitely looks like a nice, nice phone. Um, so, let's just read off some features it has. Okay. The volume rockers are now rounded. Um, there's a front camera. They upped the frames per second for video capture. And it is now HD capture. And I believe they um, they updated the video editing. So you can uh, you could edit straight on your iPhone. I think they uh, think they renovated that. I heard a lot about that. On the back is the same camera. Um, Got the sleep button up here, 
headphone jack right there, which I'm not too happy about because I don't know. I feel like it's weird having it on the top because I have an eye touch, but I mean, I guess it's not any better on the bottom. But I think it'd be more convenient if it was on the side for some reason because you could, I don't know, you could just put some something else up there. I just. Mm. I don't know. I guess it'll it'll work if it's in your pocket and you're listening to music. Like, I get how they're where they're coming from, but I don't know. I don't really like it on the top for some reason. I don't know why. I'm I'm weird like that. But, um, and what else? Oh, the firmware. Obviously, multitasking. Um, it's still on 3G coverage, so that hasn't been updated yet. But I'm sure that it'll be updated around the world soon for 4G. Um, I hope this comes out for Verizon. This could be sick. Um, yeah, I think they made the camera better too, honestly. I mean, the front camera for video chatting, I don't think it's going to be as good as the back camera, obviously, because, I mean, you got two cameras on one phone, you're streaming video. I mean, mm, I don't think it's going to be the same. But, uh, let me, let me know again what you think of, uh, this, and... Your thoughts of uh, this phone coming out for Verizon? Um, I really think it will, um, because I've I actually talked to an ATT guy on the phone, uh, an Apple actually an Apple guy, and the Apple guy couldn't tell me much because he he was he what he told me was he said exactly he t he said uh, trying to think and put it in words so I'm not spreading rumors. Um, he said to me that they signed a five year contract deal with Apple uh, with uh AT and T. Now I think Apple I think that's bull because Apple um Apple wouldn't go into a long endorsement deal like that, like not an endorsement deal but like a contract like that because they're such a they're developing company right now. I mean even for Macs and iPhones, iPod touches Something that gives you 3G service on a phone from Apple isn't the contract's not going to be long, so I feel like I got lied to because it was under copyright. The guy really couldn't tell me much, which is fine by him. It's keeping his job, but I think uh, Verizon is going to take the advantage now that they realized how developed this phone has gotten and uh, the popularity and the sales on this phone is ridiculous. Um, Another thing is, uh, actually, the real story is Verizon was approached by Apple first. Apple went to Verizon first, since Verizon is a is a world worldwide coverage. Um, well, in most countries, at least, not not as much as AT and T, but they have a very good service. Now, Apple went to Verizon and said, "Listen, I know you're not on CDMA network, but we want you." to support our phone um, on your service and Verizon didn't want to spend all the money making a CDMA s supported uh, phone and stuff like that so they denied them and when Apple Apple saw that they denied them right away they went right to they went right to like AT&T and AT&T took them right away because they know they're already on the CDMA network. They just had to update their servers so they were supported. So, I mean, Verizon, Verizon made a big mistake, but I think coming around now, they'll make a better, they'll make a better choice this time. Um, so, yeah, tell me what you guys think again. Um, Verizon, the new iPhone, 4G... The new firmware, what do you think the new firmware is going to be? I think it's going to be laggy at first, but they'll they'll have updates for it. Apple always has updates for it. So, um, just tell me what you think, and thank you for watching, guys. And subscribe.